Hey guys, this is Joe from Total Justice Gaming. I'm joined by Michael Four, who is my co-host for the show. Uh, we are going to be talking with him about his experience up at the Bushy Road Championship Series Spring Circuit, otherwise known as uh, Indie Regionals. Four made it all the way to top uh, sixth place, making, of course, top eight, obviously. With his night set, hopefully you guys have checked out that profile video. Uh, so, Four, how was the tournament? All right, so the tournament was good. We, did double we didn't do double elimination this time. We did Swiss, which I, I voted for because I feel like double elimination just takes a little, because once you lose twice, you're out. It's over. So, I feel like doing Swiss. And encourage people to come, encourage people to stay longer and play. Um, me and my friend just uh, arrived Friday afternoon ish because um, he was doing Vanguard the next day, so we wanted to get there a little bit earlier that day so he could we could play test and rest and all that kind of good stuff. Um, Saturday, he you know, was playing while he was playing Vanguard, I was hanging out with Teams Plays for Days, which uh, they came up for our shop tournament, which Team Plays for Days is one of my be uh, favorite channels besides our own, obviously. Um, I hung out with the Midwest Chief, Khalil, who I played. Test with a lot, and I was gonna play Daiva going into Sunday. I was gonna play Daiva, uh, but then play testing with CJ from Team Plays with Ace and Khalil. I ended up deciding to play Knights last minute, and with help from my friends Taryn, who's on the channel sometimes, Tyler, and Brett, um, they helped me rebuild my Knights deck the way I wanted to with the new with borrowing cards and getting what I needed to build it. Um, going into that day, I was uh, a little nervous because you know I've, I've been to a lot of regionals and I've only I never like went, I've top eight in a lot and even top four once, but I've never actually won. So I was going in that day, planning, uh, wanting to win the whole thing this time instead of coming in just a little bit short. So without further ado, uh, entering round one, my first opponent was Eric. He played Battle Poets. Um, game one, we kind of just uh, aggressively rushed him down. Uh, we ended up equipping both Bestia and Eskimal. So when I link attacked, I destroyed his transformation he was transformed into. And bar uh, game two, it was a little bit close. Uh, it was a little bit closer, but then I ended up barbed wire and just rushing out with, uh, with my double item, Camille, Hill Kyote turn, and then going into Golden Age Impact form so uh, we stole the game on that one too we, that was just a very aggressive uh, game on our part going into game uh, round two of the day we went against uh, AJ he was playing Sun Dragons he uh, he had a bye round one because he won his shop tournament so uh, but going into as we were playing and talking he was explaining to me that he just got back into the game so he was playing his friend's ball deck uh, game one uh, we just rushed him out again I mean we went from two to ten really quickly and then uh, we went on the game two, he uh, he got it with the uh, Barbarian Impact for game, and then game three, uh, we just El Guillote uh, dead and crushed him for game. Uh, uh, then we go to the round three, we played against Joel, who was playing Knights, it was a mirror match that game. Uh, game one, he beat me, because uh, he ended up getting his items first and then destroying mine after I had it, got him. Um, game two... He, we both didn't see no Camille, no, no other weapon. We were just stuck on whichever one we had equipped the first. And that's where um, playing the uh, old setup items came in handy for me. Just penetrating for one every time. And in game three, he didn't see no items, and I did. And I just kind of took the game from him there. And then when you come to round four, uh, this, this, this gentleman didn't want his name to be posted anywhere, so I, he's number 67. He was playing Zodiac. That game was uh, really hard for us. He just kept gravi eternal gravity rest and everything, and he barbed wire this game too. So we got uh, we lost both game, both rounds on that one. Uh, and then we come into round uh, five. We play against Rio, who was playing uh, Black Dragons. Honestly, both games we just had an answer to everything. Pillar of Fire, uh, Crossbow. We just had the response to everything. Both games, and the game was pretty short on both uh, rounds on that one. And then it was the last round of the day. Uh, we went against Will, who was playing Baldur Soleil. Um, and honestly, all these matchups, dealing with ball and all that kind of stuff. And as you know, I play test a lot with Trey, who, is, who plays balls and Sun Dragon uh, regularly. You know, he's the one I play test with when I'm getting ready for something. You know, Joe, I play test Joe too sometimes, but Trey's the main one I play test a lot with. So coming into any Sun Dragon matchup that day, I was confident in it. And, and you know, coming into the last round, we uh, we two won him. Uh, I mean, just had the response for everything. This guy said playing testing against uh, that deck so much just gave me the, what, the knowledge of what to do. Uh, so we split uh, round six ends. We're waiting on top eight to be called. Uh, is it's called? Um, they call me numbers uh, six place out overall four one for the day. 
So we go into the deck checks. You know, I'm sitting here trying to calm down. You know, I call, uh, I think I, I called Trey, and we were just talking about how the day went as we I was out of places. Um, so as we get done with the deck check and all that's all good, you know, I get this cool, pretty uh, Galactical Punisher mat for the day, which I'm uh, giving one of the other people on the channel, Taren, because, you know, he's the Jack Knight guy, and he hooked me up with my final kill, Yadaeva, so I was like, I'll hook you up with this after I'm done, uh, after we do this. So I go into top eight, going against Marquise. He's playing Executioner, and, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, he just kind of had an answer to everything. I mean, I couldn't, uh, my items were destroyed constantly. He just uh, overran me, then he final phase for game. I mean... He ended up winning the whole event, obviously. Uh, so, I mean, there's nothing but a good um, good job. You know, he said he just got back into the game. So, you know, it's a good job that you uh, won the whole event. Um, but it was I had really fun as the day ended. I, you know, I spoke to the team plays for days and uh, Khalil before leaving. And, you know, uh, I told him we'd see him at the next one. And, you know, I plan on going to more events because out of the channel, I'm the one, I go to more of the events out of everybody. So, I, my plan is to win the one and then go to, I want to go to the concert for the to the world championship in Japan I will this spring circuit just started so I'm going to go to more and I'll hopefully see y'all there and you know we can talk and play and I hope uh, you like this and I will see you next time well I do have questions so out of all of your matches what was your favorite one uh, the mirror match against Joel I mean we both were joking the whole time about how we were both locked on no item no Camille uh, he was a real cool guy to sit there and play, around, you know, play with and all that. We were just talking about the deck and how good it is. He was one of my favorite uh, matchups out of the whole day. Okay. What about, what was the one that you just, like, drained you completely? Honestly, the top eight match against uh, Marquise, the, the champion. I mean, he just responded to everything. I was sitting there just like, there was nothing I could do but laugh because it was just, like, kind of like if some of y'all play Vanguard, I don't know. Vanguard, Link, Joker, they just kind of lock stuff. There's nothing you can do. You say, draw, pass. That's all I could do. Anytime I mounted some kind of offense, he had a he had something. I mean, that's the game. I mean, I'm not mad at him. You know, it's just I wish I had not lost so soon as soon as I got in the top eight, honestly. All right, so the tournament itself, uh, what was one of the things you really liked about it? That it wasn't Swiss instead of double elimination. Because double elimination just puts more pressure on you. Because with Swiss, you have a chance of tiebreakers or you have a chance of, you know, just being able to pull it out. Because once you hit X2, it's over. You're just basically done for the day. And I feel like those that drove out of their way to come, that'd be like a big letdown to them, honestly. Which I know it would have been a letdown to me driving all that way from Nashville to Indianapolis. Uh, is there anything you feel like they can improve in the tournaments? Honestly, I don't think so. Not right now. Like, all my, my problems were fixed, which was the double elimination. That was one of my one biggest thing. Right now, I'm liking how Bush Rose doing their tournaments. Right now, I just want them to keep it up. And, you know, there is always room to improve. It's just uh, right now, they're doing fine by the last standards right now. All right. Uh, is there anything else you want to do? Shout outs to anybody else? Yeah, man, it was cool meeting the Midwest Chief. I like to meet Team's Flavor Days. I always like hanging out with them. They're very funny, cool guys. Um, you know, I just hope to see all of them. The next one I go to, which most likely may be Jacksonville for that one. Not up in the air right now, depending on what, of course. Right. Is there anything else we want to add to it before we uh, sign off with this interview? Uh, stay tuned for this week's videos, and next week we might try the Buddy Gauntlet again. So stay tuned today if you like that. Alrighty, guys. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. I itched my nose on the camera. Yes, you did. Uh, well, it's over. And we're signing off. Oh, God.